before, what seems like an eternity, finally arrived on Friday. That is, he says, an ambiguous evidence of a weakening in the U.S. labor market at a time when inflation is still above the Fed Reserve's 2% target. He adds the reaction of the money market shows that investors share green and clear's long-standing view that the Fed, in event of such an outcome, will prioritize the labor market over inflation. He says money markets are now discounting 116 basis points of easing by the end of this year, whereas before the payroll data, it was only 86 basis points. He adds an intra-meeting cut, the first since March of 2020, now looks like. Okay, well, that could be something that I think would probably assuage a lot of the concerns of the market that if in case the Fed does meet on an intra policy basis. I think that would be important. Like yeah. you mentioned, the RBI is meeting from the 6th to the 8th, but they've indicated very clearly they don't follow the Fed. They're going to follow what is right for the Indian economy and uh, they're not really going to follow what yeah. the Fed does. Central bankers globally, there are three ways of operating when it comes to all these situations. The first, uh, uh, you know, gun in their arsenal is that of commentary. So are they actually going to do any sort of commentary